it's Tom here. I was going to make a video today to show you Miracast working on my new Sony Xperia T smartphone. So for those of you who don't know what Miracast is, it's all about sharing the display on my smartphone with the TV behind. You're probably familiar with this ability through cable, HDMI, which is why you've probably seen one of these before, an MHL adapter. This turns the micro USB charger port of the handset into a full HDMI which with the Sony Xperia T gives you full 1080p video output. So Miracast is about doing this completely wirelessly. It actually uses Wi-Fi Direct, so there's no need for a, a router in between. Now in the future you'll find Miracast built in into all good television sets and also Blu-ray players, games consoles, everything. Miracast just isn't a Sony technology, you'll find it on a lot of products out there from various different brands. For example, I've got a receiver here from Netgear. This is the PTV3000. The idea of this little box is the TV behind doesn't have Miracast built in, so I have to use this receiver. So I plug it in via HDMI and be able to stream directly between these two. Think of it as an open alternative to Apple's AirPlay. So you're not just using a closed environment, you could have a Blu-ray player from one manufacturer and a TV from another and it will synchronise perfectly. So let's wire it all up and see how it looks. Ok, so now the net gearbox is waiting for the connection. On the Xperia smartphone all we have to do is go into settings. So if we go to the menu, go across to settings and this is where we'll find the option. Now what's important to remember is that this Miracast technology has been introduced with the software update which will be numbered on the build number 3.195 so you must make sure you've got the most up to date software for this to work. Once you have this software if you just go into the Xperia option you'll find screen mirroring and if we go there it will say turn on. Now this method is just like searching for a Bluetooth headset it will come up with the options available and you would click on it and hopefully it will work first time. It's important to remember that Miracast works on Wi-Fi Direct so you don't need a router in between, you don't need, be, need to be connected to your home Wi-Fi connection or anything like that, it will just work straight away. So it's now preparing and it's now connected to my TV set. So. What you'll see is the connection is mirrored directly to my TV set. And if I click back, all the buttons, it's copying it all the way. So it is in a portrait at the moment, but that's because I'm just in the home menu. So if I go to the album app, rotate into landscape, you'll find that it works perfect in landscape too. So if I was to browse through all of my photos using the awesome album app, then it works just like that. Even if I go into maps, 3D mode. So it's full 1080p output as well, just like you'd get with the HDMI connection, but this is completely wirelessly, which is great, obviously, for media content, watching videos. But uh, my personal favourite would be for playing games. Now there is a little bit of a delay, so it's not perfect just yet, but this is still early software and it's still an early technology. By the time it comes to mass market, I'm sure Miracast will be absolutely perfect. So, just very quickly, before the battery on my camera runs out, I just want to show you this working a little bit. So here on the handset, As you can see, absolutely perfect. So I'm going to now sit back behind the camera and play the game. So I'm sure you agree there's lots of potential for Miracast. And in the future I'm sure there's going to be better utilisation of this technology. But at the moment, it's still very impressive and just a little, little glimpse of the future of what is going to happen with smartphones, TVs, 
Blu-ray players and I'm sure there's plenty of other technology to come in the future. So there we go, there's mirror casting working perfectly on my Sony Xperia T using the Netgear PTV3000. This is just the start of mirror cast technology but I'm sure there's going to be some amazing stuff coming in the near future. Rest assured, I'll be showing you that probably too. Thanks for watching.